Hello to everyone on the Ford Transit Forum, uh, Eric here. Just gonna go over what we did to our family van for our family of six. Uh, we were looking at this van to replace the minivan um, because we wanna do a lot of road trips. We used to live in Hawaii and now we're moving to Texas and the rest of our family live in Michigan. So our intent was to get a vehicle big enough to haul us, our kids, uh, our pets back and forth um, without having to worry about too much space and we were used to a Yukon XL so the gas mileage aspect of it wasn't that big of a deal because it really gets bad gas mileage compared to a minivan um, but not about the same as a truck or the Yukon so we knew what we were getting into uh, as far as that goes um, so it wasn't a big deal uh, just a quick overview we did the floor I did a write-up on it uh, we replaced the carpet with vinyl vinyl flooring it looks like fake wood or it looks like real wood it's got texture to it and it just went in place of the carpet so the wooden base is still there it was still pretty sticky so we were just able to put it down uh, in place of the uh, the carpet which was actually pretty nasty for 2017 I guess whoever had it before liked to spill a little bit of everything in it uh, but what I'm here to talk about is the the TV and soundbar installation that my wife and I did we spent two days doing the floor and the uh, the TV, so I'd like to go over some things that we did. Uh, so this panel, uh, I believe I have removed part of it. I know I took this panel off right here. Uh, this one, I think because of the, the seat belt, I might have just pulled it away a little bit. Uh, but the main thing for the TV install was removing these two uh, trim tabs right here and these are not easy to remove I really recommend you get the trim tab tools from somewhere uh, we got them from Harbor, Harbor Freight maybe five dollars uh, but once you remove these two trim tabs right back here roughly there's three uh, magnetic mounts as part of the ceiling so once you pull down these two things you pull from the from the inside and those three magnetic pieces will come off and then it'll just kind of sit right about here about 12 inches down and the back you can leave on you don't have to remove it um, once we did that I thought along the whole center of the vehicle there was going to be like some sort of mounting thing that you could put stuff on specifically right here because I figured you know like some stuff some people want to put in here well that wasn't the case instead what we found was basically where this mount lines up and these brackets go all the way at the end on one side and then the other back over here there is this bracket so yeah it sits like this and basically you could slide a piece of wood into it and it ended up being 56 and a quarter inches I'm using this for reference but basically you could just slide the wood up on both sides under the trim and it lined up pretty good to be close to where the actual fabric was um, I ended up using this oak board right here. So oak's much more dense than pine. Uh, this is a piece I originally got, but it had some flex to it. And my father-in-law was like, yeah, well, you should probably use something a little bit more dense than that. So we ended up using this piece of oak. Um, there's the dimensions on it. And it actually fits in that whole lip. It's wide enough for this board and a little more. Uh, so you could get a wider piece if you want, but I think this is more than enough. And this is what we mounted the TV and the soundbar to. So I pre-drilled four holes into the board uh, for the TV and the soundbar because I knew it was going to be hard to screw into it when we were done. So those lag bolts are what's attaching the TV to the roof. And it's pretty, it's really solid. It's not going anywhere. And then I had to drill the holes along the uh, the wall. Uh, where the uh, the lip was, so I had to drill the, the holes for the wood so it would stay put. Um, but that wasn't too big of a deal. Um, so the only thing I could do is I could have, I attached the L brackets. So you can see the L brackets that are coming down through the ceiling. I cut the little slits there. Uh, basically I just put the ceiling up with the L brackets attached and then I cut right behind them on both sides. And the sound bar is solid, it's not going anywhere. Um, and once that was through, then I was able to, to find the holes with the ceiling back up where the, the TV mount went. Uh, and then we just bolted those in there. And if we go to the back, the satellite speakers, I used the uh, trim pieces and I pulled the, 
the trim screws out or the trim tabs out and I just shoved them right back up in there and then the TV or the the satellite speakers came with uh, these screws so I just use Loctite on everything except the wood the parts that are going into wood and then I ran the the power cables through the trim for both of them down the side and then they go down here so they just kind of come out under the trim I had to feed it through uh, this side piece right here basically and then they just go to the speaker and it kind of stays here pretty good uh, If you need to you can just pull the wires out and remove it. So it's out of the way But right now it kind of just stays there. Uh, it doesn't really bother the kids I can fit there with my feet and then the power cable it went and ran along the wall here So we just followed and you can see where it enters the, the floor and it just follows the trim around It wasn't hard to put it in and it stays there pretty good uh, to power the TV uh, we, I just stuck one of these up here. It has a 10 foot cord. 10 foot left me with about a foot to spare so coming through the, the ceiling. Um, so that slid through here. I just kind of winded it through here um, with a trim away. With this piece with this piece right here off it wasn't too bad to to get into it. Um, and then it comes out under here. So I just have the little extra outlet here for additional stuff. The power cord. I'm going to mount the Kydex from here to here. So it's gonna cover this whole thing with black plastic, uh, just so you don't have to see it. And then it'll protect the wires and the fan. So that's the plan with that. I used a thousand watts just so I could have some extra wattage if stuff was running. I know it doesn't draw that much for the TV, but it works pretty good. And then the mount itself is a fold up mount. And you can see it just kind of locks into place. It holds the TV up and out of the way. So overall, it wasn't bad, but without taking pictures of the the roof down and everything else, it was kind of hard to explain what we actually did. But you can see these L brackets; they were just coming through the ceiling into the back of the sound bar. So this thing's solid; it doesn't move. But you can see the TV; it'll jiggle a little bit, especially if you're going down the road. So I was going to put some foam padding for when it was. Uh, in the watching position so but that's how we did it for our van uh, we're pretty happy with it so far more testing to come because we just pretty much installed it but but thanks for watching